Alright, what do we got? Four the trailblazers. They got Bob Cousy, Paul Westfall, Purvis Short. I don't know what that is. Charles Barkley and Alonzo Moaning. Up next, the Trailblazers taking on the Celtics for the Portland Trailblazers. A look at the standings. Just a game out of first place in the conference. They're within striking distance of that top seed. Celtics, Blazers, tip off. Just yeah, Barkley. moments away. Not bad. It's not a bad Barkley. Not a bad Barkley. I don't know why Barkley just doesn't want to be in the game. I don't get it. Put him in the game. Hey everybody, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Hi folks, this is Brian Anderson. I'm with Grant Hill and Brent Perry. Our reporter tonight, Allie LaForce. Hey Allie. Well guys, we've seen star players forcing their way to new teams, and Commissioner Adam Silver said, quote, there will always be situations where guys are unhappy. You always hope that those don't play out publicly. When you have players actively seeking to move while they're under contract, that's not good for the league. Brian, we'll see what happens. All right, Allie, thanks. And the starting group for the Celtics, and for Portland, and we've got a pair of teams here that know a thing or two about ball movement, Grant. Yeah, they really do. I mean, there's a great feel that these teams play with. Two of the smartest teams in the league. They focus on sharing the basketball and keeping everyone involved. This is a matchup for the purists. Off I lost the tip. a tip. Pass to short. Here's Westfall. Pocket six. That shot, no good. Now the Celtics take it the other way. This game following their win against the Rockets. And it wasn't just the starters putting in work. Yeah, I don't know if it's Mulberry, if it's the defense, I don't know, but that, yeah, saw that happens score way that too easy. The next day, and I thought, wow, that's a huge scoring night. Pretty impressive stuff there. Here's Westfall. After the basket by Boston. He's off on that one. Great D that time from Porzingis. Pass to George. Yeah. Minute played here so far in the first. Right wing. Here's Duncan with the fadeaway. Count it. Yeah, one for one good. to start the game. Well, it's uh, you know what I'm going to do? More and more in the latter I am going to be the defensive the player that I scroll with. Or I get the rebound with or whatever. That's it. Here's McGrady. And he jams it home with authority. I just love how he runs the floor with energy and intensity, but still stays under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition. Absolute blur in transition. And Portland has possession. The Celtics making their last shot. Yeah, I got stuck. Here's Short. In his last outing, 16 points for him. Five on the clock. Two points. That one goes. Easy look. When the defender is sure. fighting over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Here's Porzingis. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. I don't know who's going to get up for that as Porzingis skies for the dunk. Stuck right by him. Here I had to get him the ball. There's one thing we know for certain about the Blazers. They've got some of the best fans in the NBA. Morning with the okay, morning. And I absolutely love the attack mentality. <laughs> Even with the bigger defender on. Yeah, that's an awesome finish there for sure. Not allowing that big guy to have his way or, or alter the right. shot. Sometime today. Going to play. The basket by Portland. Now here's Jordan. His last outing, he had 20. Like Count in. Jordan. How about the fan base in Portland? They're passionate, and they really understand the game. That's so true, B.A. I mean, even in lean years, they come out to support their club. And when they're on top, all of Rip City gets caught up in the buzz. Portland's a great basketball town. 
Good block, good block. It's an awesome defensive display by Duncan there, coming up with the block and aggressively sending that one back. The rebound by Duncan. That's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Yes, it's good. It's good. It's an outstanding first quarter from the field. Oh, yeah. We're trailing here. And everything. And the Trailblazers all time here. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now. Just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. A line change here for Portland. New York. Oh, the we look at some of the stingiest defenses in the NBA. Number one, the Celtics. They've been able to consistently slow opponents, using every tool they have to shut them down. And first quarter, we're oh, about shit. three and a half minutes in. Now Rondo. Pass to Coleman. Oh, that's Derek Coleman? Rebound by Stoudemire. Austin on offense. They're on a 12 to 4 oh. run. Damn. 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 Brogdon touch that? Now we get a chance to check some stats for him. And over the last five games, his field goal percentage has increased. And you can make a case his confidence as well because of this. 119 left in the first. Outside, Rondo. Williams finds Russell. Outside, Williams. Back to Russell. Where Russell is at? Lock it four. Pass to Miller. Shoots over Bryant. Miller can't get it to go. The Celtics with the lead. We got a mismatch somewhere. Outside Brogdon. Over to the wing. Releases. And it's Boston scoring again. <laughs> I just Scotty Pippen. The ball. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Pass to Miller. This one for three. Rebound by Stoudemire. For Boston, they've gone a perfect seven for seven. Four seconds. Holy shit, I haven't shot missed a shot box. yet. Bryant, shit. left side. Here's Pippen. 17 footer. No good. A bit long that time. And so it's Boston ending the quarter up 10. Defense is setting the tone. Time for a quick break and back to the action. Basketball left to play. This one has been one-sided so far. All right, guys, what do you think about the Celtics here in this one? Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. Yeah, they did a great job. Just the initial thrust of that attack as soon as they get the ball constantly in transition. And Boston has possession. Ten-point lead. This is their base of the game. This is the first time they've seen Portland this season. Last year, they made easy work of this club, sweeping the two-game season series. Sort of representative of how they each finished the season. One a playoff team, the other on the outside looking in. I think things may play out the same way oh, this the year. Oh, that's the first shot I And for the Celtics. And when you're trying to slow down a top score, often the game plan is to get physical. Brad, you would know better than anybody. Drop the cross to Ed. It's interesting. I mean, it can wear on you. It's a mental challenge. When you're in the trenches trying to slow down a great offensive player, it really becomes a battle of wills. You have to stay focused. You have to be disciplined. And most importantly, you just cannot take a playoff and allow a great player to get going. Fires the three. 
Portland grabs the miss. After this game, they can look forward to Detroit, where they will match up against the Pistons. That'll be the first leg of just a two-game trip for them. And for Boston... Fuck, huh, Candy, you gotta get on your dude. Oh, why? Is, what the hell? No. They no. got it again. Oh, and it's rejected. Yeah. Starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Not run a play. Jesus. Six on the shot clock. Uses the glass to finish the layup. I have it run plays 100% of the time, so like, I mean, I feel like with the send me to that spot. I should be running plays. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Morning. There it is, Warren. All the way to the bucket. No resistance. Just like the candy. Timeout called. The Celtics. Looking for some new swag. He's looking for some new swag. Checking in for the Celtics. Closed it in on two minutes played here in the second. To the middle. Nice dish. And the layup goes down. That too easy. Like a matador, Olay! 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 It feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Here's short, hovering around 19 and a half points a game. You got him. His scoring has been huge for them. Tipped. Pass to Pippen. Here's Stoudemire. it out to Bryant. Just five to shoot. Puts it up. Gets some space and buries the jumper. And now it's a 12-point Celtic lead. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Ah, shit. Here's Westfall. Oh, God. oh and Bryant with a block. And he's able to get ah. it back. Oh, Shot's good ball. by Westfall. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Marbury in the game What's against Houston, very impressive. Shoots it from the high post. Jump shot is good. Marbury. He's got six. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for Boston? Knocking away shootings, containing shooters, and making it tough to find looks. I wonder if pace and playing fast is something that you're being encouraged to do because right now they feel like the faster team. Portland. The one thing I've learned over the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline the players. You gotta make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Ooh. So Portland ends up going with a new group. But firing away. He's gonna punish that you Villa? if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Pass to Pippen. Let's it go. Ah. Right, no good. Not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he could chip in. Off target from three-point range. Now the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Here's Pippen. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. They recover it. He shoots a three. They grab their own miss. Kicks it out to Bryant. Jesus. That's the Stoudemire. Here's Marbury. Six points for him. And he lobs it up. Ah, I missed it. That could have been an easy pass and finish. Not really sure what went wrong. Yeah, you like to keep things a little more simple, and that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. Woo! <laughs> PA, that's lit. Ferocious what? all the way. Man, that was good. So it's Boston now, after the basket by Portland. Uncovered. Count that bucket. Got Defensively, it. you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up Shit, I got, I got stuck. in that situation. 
Now here's Rondo. Well, quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Damn, what the yeah. hell? Boy, he that one off the I'm trying to steal a guy who went to the freaking first row. Robert. 11 Robert. seconds left in the first half of this game. To the paint. Here's Stoudemire. Oh, and he caught really that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Stephane Attacking Robert. the rim with power. Tremendous finish. And so it's the Boston Celtics. The the they have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. And then he brings Jordan back in the game. game. After this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Boston had no problems getting going. Their mission to dominate early was accomplished with a spirited 14-4 run to start. By the end of the first quarter, their lead was in double digits. In the second quarter, they didn't play quite as well and were outscored, but still were able to head to the locker room up by a solid nine at the end. And let's get your thoughts, big fella, on the Celtics. They're running the offense beautifully this one, working for good looks. The confidence looks stacked. It'll be hard for that to be to And McKinney, what did you see from Portland? Well, they have to improve their defense. The guys were getting burned on the clip. They went for the oh, that is Reggie Miller. Why is Reggie Miller starting? Say, man down, man down. Oh, you got to get him some help. That pretty much covers everything. Shot. You think they played their best? No way, no way. <laughs> And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Go over there. It's dance time in Portland. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. Marbury's on fire. Kobe's on fire. The Celtics with the lead. To the inside. Here's Bryant. Up and in on the layup. Kobe Bryant. Bryant's got six. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. And for Boston, that's Westfall. Here's Williams, defended by Porzingis. Williams Ooh, shot is good. Williams. Williams has got his first two points of the night. That kind of looks like a predictable shot, one that they want. The defense ah, has to could have, I could have paused it to go, but. Here's Marbury. He has six. The three, Porzingis. Counted Here's from distance. Porzingis. Porzingis has got his second bucket of the game. Ready to shoot, Porzingis fires. Pass to Westfall. Shoots over Bryant. Not going to give it back to Williams, are they? Six to shoot. Oh, and got he the got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your I thought I had that block. Bob Cousy. Bob Cousy. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. So both teams changing it up here. Sinks the second. Here's Marbury. He's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. Right around a minute and a half played in the third quarter. And the call is going to be yeah, yes, an illegal screen. What? He can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. And that's how you defend. Glad we had a chance to see a replay of that block again. 
Now, obviously, he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. And so here's Portland. They trail by 11. Hey, yeah, give it to him. Go ahead, give it to him. See what you got. Fades and shoots. Here's Morning. All right, give me that rebound. And it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Wide open. Pass to McGrady. Back to Jordan. Ooh, 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 Rebound get in there. Morning. For Portland, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Here's Westfall. Get that. So get that rebound. Defense. Okay, can I ask you a question? Shoot. From That's Jordan. what I'm here for. Since halftime, they've missed three of their first four shots. Still trying to get their legs under them. And here's Porzingis. Collects the two points Zingas. near the hoop. Zingas. Porzingis. Stop. Has Porzingis. Got seven. Porzingis has that kind of touch at 7 3. He can hurt you in there. Pass to Kuzi. Inside. Here's Morning. Great D that yeah. time from Porzingis. The Celtics have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. A minute 58 left in the third. Chits. Here's Duncan. Here's Marbury. Uh, legal screen. And Jesus it looks Christ. like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Got to hold firm, or you're gonna get a call. Outside, Rondo. Down hey, Rondo low. is. Morning. Rondo is shifty. Here's Coleman. The shot, no good. And the Celtics going the other way now. It'll be the fourth of six games for them away from I got home. a mismatch. That's to Stoudemire to the inside. Here's Duncan. Checked by Rondo. What the hell? Duncan, no good. <laughs> the Trailblazers <laughs> shooting a rough 29 How the hell did I miss that? Here. Here's Short. In that. And a nice finish on the layup. Six points for him. And then no excuse right there for not covering one of the guys on the floor. And that's Rondo around the rim where he can score. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great Gotta job. see that play You're one more to time. Close that gap. It's going to hinge on plays like this one, creating high percentage oh. looks right inside. Oh, oh man, man, I wanted to dunk that chip. First personal foul. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for the Celtics? I mean, they play some beautiful basketball all game. The passing has been impressive, and it's opened up things with their ball movement. Probably have to this might be the first free throws well. I've taken with tonight, Amari Stoudemire. has been awesome. I mean, they put force on this game, attacking Jesus. off the bounce, oh, yeah, it is. and the willingness to do that has paid off. So both teams making some changes here. All right. Good on the second one. Ah, that is a long and slow release. The Trailblazers have gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Pass to Miller. Here's Coleman. Takes a 13-footer. That's a jerky jerky. And pulls it down. Perky jerky. The Celtics have gone three of seven here in this third quarter. Outside Brogdon. And he lobs it up to ah, the rim. Took too long. Ooh, give and that. the layup's good off the glass. And <laughs> once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. Bryant outside. Fades. The shot's good. Bryant's got four points in the quarter. 
That's the guy they're going to keep going to as they should. The lead's only going up if they I was talking about the climbing well, ring tail. Down down I have no clue. Be difficult to Wish I could help, man. I have no clue. Celtics out in front. They lead by 12. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling here on 2K Sports. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. Did you know you can find a ringtail in a state in Arizona, bro? What is a ringtail? Is that an animal? And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Like, is that like a monkey or something? Mr. Miller. Sounds like a monkey. Yes? What kind of, what is it? Is it a monkey? It's like, uh, like a raccoon or something? A possum? Let's it fly from 18. The rebound, Celtics. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And for the Celtics, we've got Michael Porter, Malcolm Brogdon up there with Kobe Bryant. Then there's Jonathan Isaac. From about 16. Damn, Kobe's fadeaway is smooth. Looks business. like a raccoon. Unlikely to be a comeback on his watch. Well, he's grabbed a tee and a blanket because he's putting this one to bed. Here's Westfall. As to morning, here's Miller. The three. The shot won't fall. Not a way to get out of a funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the wild one he took there. Now Bryant. Now here's Isaac. Three-pointer is up from Brogdon. Rebound by yeah. Westfall. I didn't kind of wanted to the take that, but I didn't want to take poorly. it. Just 29% from the floor in this game. Here's Miller. Dales, the wide open jumper. Timeout called. The Celtics. Well, Grant, we're seeing players extend their careers. Often diet plays a big role. How important was that in your day and how important it was? Sounds like a hunchback. It's so important. You put into your body the rest all of that plays a role in extending your career and having great longevity along the way. So Boston ends up going with a new group. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ollie. Well, over the break, I've listened to him make a joke of huddle. So far, he's happy with their play. Right, you want any kind of a letdown. Sounds like, sound like a muskrat, sounds like kind of, some kind of Don't rodent. Don't play not to lose. We want to push the action and try to break their spirit. And Ollie, thank you for that. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Pass to Miller. Here's Westfall, covered by Jordan. Who got the way? Shot clock at six. Here's Westfall. And a miss there on the triple. And right now they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. To the paint. Here's Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis. Porzingis. He was gripping the rock on the way to the slam. No way he was going to get stripped on that one. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. The three. Pure from three-point range. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. To halt the run. Portland, no good that time either. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that. <laughs> he handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Well, you're
your Hall of Fame dad, Rick, made some interesting comments, Brent. One of them, encouraging the league to crack down on illegal screens. No way, B.A. My dad said something that was controversial or interesting. Here we go. You got Good it. rebound. Good yeah. rebound. Yeah, I mean, illegal screens, do we still want to see less of them? Sure. Timeout called. The Blazers. Oh, my. Their coach does not have the clock. And I can guess why. Their defense smokes. has been struggling. No, they're not preventing them from scoring. And if you can get to a high efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. The foul Mulberry player of the game. Again. Right side, Rondo. Pass to Coleman. There's the block. 144 left in the game. Here's Marbury. Let's it go from 11. Ah, oh, I no missed good. it. No good. Lately late. Portland has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Celtics. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And a good performance to bring them their 18th win of the year. Here's Jordan. The Blazers making their last shot. And slam dunk by Jordan. A savage reverse jam. That takes great body control. No question. He was making a statement right there, man. And Portland's shooting only 29% since the fourth quarter began. Pass to Russell. Pass to Russell. There's 48 uh, seconds left wide open. in the fourth quarter here. That's my fault. I'm still fighting the, the other celebrities. Other What's the name of that game that you're, you're playing? Earlier in the game. Unfortunately, this run will be all for nothing. The consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams. And tonight, they just did not find it in this contest. And that one's good. Poor Zingas. Showing us that killer I'm instinct still, right I'm still now. fighting them at no nighttime. Yeah, what's the, the name of the room? game? Yeah, up until talking that about? point, a competitive I've even heard game, of it. but once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. On target from range. Better outside when he gets into a rhythm or when he gets his feet set. Rondo's smart at knowing when to fire. Here's McGrady. Pass to Marbury. To the middle. Porzingis in the post. Over Williams. No good on the fadeaway. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge and they earned this dub. It's Mudra Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. Real life so outside game. Hill, Allie LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew. Is it like some kind of like, is that like Pokemon Go where you like, we'll see you, later. you do stuff in like real life? Let's take a look at the box score. Purpose short at eight points. Reggie Miller had seven. He had ten shots. Damn. Was well, it at 13? Kobe. Kobe had ten shots. Man. I knew I was taking some shots with it, but I didn't know I had ten.